praise the lord hey guys so um what's been happening was i took a bit of time off tiktok i felt like the lord led me to and it was like the lord said he was going to reveal some a few revelations to me whilst i took time off tiktok and literally that's what's just happened so i had a vision the other day and i've got it written down here and i'm just gonna go ahead and say it so what happened in this vision is an angel came to me and asked do you want me to show you hell and i said to the angel yes lord and he said no i'm the angel gabriel at judgment, I'll be checking the book of life to see whose name is in it. And you are a son of Abraham in faith. And then the angel pointed and I saw many souls being pushed off a cliff, falling into hell. And I heard the word fornicators. And then the angel said to me, you see in your past life before you were in Christ, these were the types of people you associated with. They fornicated and had sex outside marriage. And this shall be their portion if they do not repent. And then I saw countless bodies falling in and I began to be frightened because one body that I saw was of a woman and she was in a church. She was like part of a church choir, I believe. And then the face of Christ suddenly appears and he begins to tell me that this woman's here for fornication and she also slept with her pastor who was married and now she shall spend eternity separated from me this is her judgment that's what jesus said and i saw her screaming in torment and she's screaming she's like i wish i could repent lord give me another chance and the lord replies saying you had your chances on earth do you know that for people who practice a life of willful sin they shall have their place among the hypocrites where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth and i asked the lord how did she die and he shows me that she overdosed on pills and she was also a wine bibber she, she liked to drink and what happened to her is she took sleeping pills and ended up never waking up and i asked the lord this question because I'd had this conversation with a few friends of mine, you know, do kids go to hell? And I asked the Lord, do kids go to hell? And he replied, yes, many. You don't have to go through puberty to come here. And the Lord begins to say, remember, I look at the hearts of men and their conscience. Once you've known right and wrong, good and evil, then you can be judged accordingly. But if you are an innocent child who doesn't know what they do, then you shall be spared, for I am a merciful God. I can't allow sin and a spotted garment into my kingdom. This is why I died for the sins of man. I asked the Lord, who's going to heaven? And he replied, those who faithfully followed my word and repented, you won't be perfect in this life, which is why I died for your sins and gave you the opportunity to repent for your wickedness. There will be much pressure on the earth to do evil, but remember to fear me more than you fear man. I am the Lord and I love you. Wow. So I just saw this. I just saw this. And you know what I'm hearing right now in my spirit? I'm hearing that many people on this app who are Christians are on their way to hell because. Oh, man, because of things like teaching heresy. Heretical doctrines. And God says in the book of James, he says this. Don't you know that teachers will be judged with a greater strictness? Not many of you should become teachers. This is what God is saying. Not many of you should become teachers because teachers will be judged with a greater strictness. And he's saying mm, many people 
who are teaching false doctrine will have blood on their hands. And God is saying, listen, many of my people are looking at each other and they're envying one another. And he's saying, don't you know that these things are of the flesh? It is not wise to compare yourself to other people. And the Lord is saying, I have created you. I have created you with, with love. I have created you with love and I have called you to do specific things in your life. Do not be a crowd follower, but follow the shepherd and follow your Lord. For it is I who will direct your steps and lead you onto the right path, the paths of righteousness for my name's sake. Do not compare yourself to others, for I created you unique, says the Lord God. I created you unique and I knew you even before you were in your mother's womb and all the hairs on your head, I have counted them. Has anyone else took this much care for you? Understand, says the Lord, even if your mother and father abandon you, I will be there for you, says the Lord. But some of you, says the Lord, you need to cooperate with me. Some of you need to cooperate with me in your heart and take heed to my word and follow me for this shall be your safety in these last days. For know that the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Do not be afraid, says the Lord. Do not be afraid and do not be scared. How many times have I told you in my word to not be afraid, says the Lord. Have faith in me and trust in me. Do not be fearful and faithless as some of my disciples were as Peter began to walk out upon the water he began to walk on the water but when he began to doubt he began to sink and this is the case for many of your lives right now you have stepped out onto the water and began to walk but because you have lost faith in me, you have began to sink. Do not let the devil train your mind, says the Lord, but let me train your mind by my spirit and by my word and let me guide you to the paths of righteousness. Let me guide you to the truth, for I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life, says the Lord God. When Philip asked me, what is the way? Can you show us the way. I told him, I am the way, says the Lord. Trust in me this day, says God, and do not trust in man, says the Lord, but trust in me and my word and my spirit, and surely I shall bring you to your expected end. He who endures till the end, that same one shall be saved and spared from my wrath, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory and praise, Lord. And we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, today. In Jesus' name. Amen. I praise God. I hope you guys were edified by that word. I pray that the Lord spoke to you through that today. Hallelujah.